Hi guys, it's Laura. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my lunch diary. I have been filming what I had for lunch for an entire week. So if you want to know more about that, then please keep watching. Today is Monday and it is such a wonderful, beautiful day. I think this is the first day in 2018 when it's really, really warm. I was actually outside only in my shirt and I had jeans, but it was way too warm. So when I came home from the post office, I decided to switch my jeans for jeggings. And this is how it looks like outside. It is super sunny. It's just wonderful. But that's not why we're here today. You want to know about my lunch. So today I am going to have for lunch something I also had yesterday because yesterday I cooked wok and I made more so that we could have it for lunch today as well. And now I'm going to show you how it looks like. There are carrots, broccoli, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, mushrooms, seitan, a little bit of garlic and organic soy sauce. And I will eat my wok with basmati rice. It is Tuesday and it is again such a wonderful, warm and sunny day today. I went to get my x-rays for my braces today and when I was on my way home I have decided to take a walk through the city because it was just so beautiful and everything in our yard is sprouting. The buds with the leaves on the trees are opening so the trees are getting green and it's just so wonderful and since it's so warm I don't feel like eating anything cooked so I'm just gonna have a burrito bowl. Alright, here is my burrito bowl. I have here fresh spinach leaves, beans, mushrooms, of course I'm breathing, of course I have to have mushrooms. Then there is a tomato, avocado, fresh corn, red and green bell pepper and in the middle that's half of a scallion chopped into small pieces and I squeezed juice of half a lime and I have drizzled it on the top and I'm gonna eat this with tortillas so this is gonna be my lunch. I'm going to have my burrito bowl here at home but I also made a second bowl for Jack so I'm gonna bring this to the office obviously in another dish. It's basically the same veggies only a bit more of all and um, there's also lime juice in it and I already stirred everything up so I'm gonna put it in some kind of a dish and bring this with me to the office with a few tortillas and coconut yogurt because Jack likes to eat a burrito bowl as a tortilla wrap basically. Does that make sense? I'm not sure but I think you know what I mean. So he likes like putting the veggies on the tortilla sheet with a little bit of coconut yogurt and wrapping it where I actually like eating it just with a fork and biting little chunks of tortilla on the side but this is a lot of veggies. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some leftovers so I might have a wrap later as a snack. And then, then I also bought these grapes which I'm gonna bring with me to the office because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be hungry in the afternoon and I felt like eating grapes because I haven't had any in a while. Today is Wednesday and I felt again like eating a raw lunch so I have here zoodles with raw cashew cheese sauce. I really like these. So there is one zucchini in this dish and I'm going to show you how I make my cashew cheese sauce. I always soak a cup of cashews for about an hour, then I drain them and put them in a blender. And then I add one or two garlic cloves, three tablespoons either coconut aminos or organic soy sauce, about half a teaspoon of turmeric, I also like adding about half a teaspoon of paprika powder, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one and a half tablespoons of tahini. I usually also add about half a cup of water and then the leftovers from my zucchinis when I spiralized them. I blend all ingredients for a few minutes. The sauce gets warm. So if you want your sauce to be cold, you have to wait a little bit, but if you don't mind, you can serve it immediately with your zoodles. And as you can see, the zoodles were snout approved. It's Thursday and this is our lunch. I have here stir fry, which I cooked yesterday in the evening for dinner. I made more so that we would have lunch today. So there's broccoli, yellow bell pepper, one tomato, chopped carrots, 
a lot of garlic, a bit of organic soy sauce, and red beans, and of course rice. I have used basmati rice, and when I was cooking this I used a small amount of coconut oil, and I also chopped a few scallions for the office for today. And then we are going to have a dessert, but this is a healthy dessert. There are tomatoes, uh, not tomatoes, why do I say tomatoes? This is a strawberry white chocolate pudding, but there is no white chocolate. There are only white chocolate drops, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So there are chopped strawberries, lots of them. It was about half of the glass. Then there is an oat drink, and about three tablespoons of chia seeds in each glass. Then I stirred it up so that it could thicken. And these are the drops that I have used. I have used about eight drops per glass. These are the white chocolate drops from my protein. They act also as a sweetener so I didn't have to add sugar. And that's gonna be our lunch today. This is how the pudding looks like. You can see that it's really thick. If you make a chia pudding, give it at least two hours in the fridge because the chia seeds need a bit of time. But once they soaked up, they will thicken the pudding nicely. And as you can see, it is super solid. Nothing would get spilled. Today is Friday. I had my ballet class in the morning and I have decided to get my lunch on the way home. I had a mushroom pizza. The pizza dough is by default vegan and they left out the cheese so that the entire pizza would be vegan and I also got a second pizza to go for Jack. I also got myself a freshly squeezed juice to go but I brought my own cup so that I wouldn't need the plastic cups to go. And I had this iced tea, it's white tea with elderflower and mint flavor and it's really yummy. I do not usually eat out. First of all, it is way more expensive than cooking. And second, I love cooking. I really enjoy preparing my own meals, but every now and then I feel like it's a nice thing to do, kind of to treat myself and have a lunch that someone else cooked for me. Today is Saturday. Jack went golfing, which means today it's gonna be just lunch for one because he took a snack with him. I've been doing pole dance in the morning and stretching and then I had to mow the lawn which means I had a lot of exercise so I'm pretty hungry but I don't feel like eating anything cooked so I made myself a salad. I divided it in two parts but I'm gonna tell you what was inside so this is how the salad looks like. There is baby spinach, seitan, avocado and tomato inside, also yellow bell pepper and of course mushrooms because it wouldn't be a salad if I wouldn't add mushrooms and then I just poured a little bit of lime juice on the top and I still had one tortilla sheet in the fridge and I wanted to use it up so I'm gonna make one tortilla wrap with the salad and seitan and there is also a little bit of coconut yogurt on the top I'm actually considering that I will open this can of beans but then again, the seitan has a lot of protein. I'm, I think I'm gonna skip this. So this is what I'm gonna have now. I have here also a herbal tea. I have sometimes a problem that my legs swell up a lot and I found a tea that's supposed to make it better because I've been only using some ointments and stuff like that. And I feel like it's not always helping and I thought why not try doing something from the inside. So I've been drinking this tea daily for I'd say like four or five days and I have a feeling that it got better. So I'm gonna look it up and find out what herbs are inside and I will write it down in the info. So right now I am going to roll this wrap and eat this then I will finish the salad and let's see if that will satisfy me. Well, not only did the food satisfy me fully, but I wasn't even able to finish the entire salad. I have to say I underestimated how filling this might be because seitan is very protein dense and that's what makes it so filling. So I finished my tortilla wrap first, 
then I ate a few forkful of the salad and then I was like no no way I can finish that so I'm gonna put the salad into the fridge and I will eat it probably like in an hour hour and a half today is Sunday and I'm meeting my friend Hannah we are going for a veggie burger it's actually around the corner from the opera in Vienna this is where I'm sitting right now so this building behind me is the opera and there is such a beautiful fountain and we have agreed to meet here because it's just so lovely and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna have for lunch all right this is my lunch so I ordered the farmer's burger there are mushrooms seitan patty this is by the way whole grain um, bun and I have here also a barbecue sauce and sweet potato fries and I'm drinking coke light because why not but this is not a coke this is an organic kind of coke which I like a lot. It's called Fritz Cola. It's being produced in Germany. So this is my Sunday lunch because I worked out so much this week so I earned a burger. I also ordered this homemade lemonade. There is black pepper and basil in it and it is so delicious. So that's what I had for lunch for an entire week. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I personally really like filming these because for me it's also a motivation to get a little bit more creative with my lunch. I do not eat every day the same stuff but I tend to kind of repeat things over and over that I really like and when I know I'm gonna be filming I think it a little bit better through so this is definitely a good thing for me. I also filmed my dinner diary once, I will link it down below. And as usual, you will find a lot of stuff in the description box. So there's always all of my Instagram accounts. My other channels are also linked down below. I always list any music that I used in my videos down below. And you will find there also recommended videos and playlists, a few affiliate links and several discount codes that I currently have for you guys. And that's it for today. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next video. Ah yeah, and by the way, if you want to, you can also let me know what is your favorite lunch. Is there anything that you enjoy very often? You can write it in the comments, but that's really it. So thank you so much. I love you guys so much and see you next time. Bye.